Today we're going to remove the AC compressor on this 2016 Hyundai Genesis 3.8. 3.8. Yes, 3.8. First, we're going to remove this intake decking here using a trim tool removal. We'll remove these retainer clips that are inserted right in here. There's a total of one, two, three, and four. Just pry underneath it, pull up, and there it is. We'll set this over to the side and repeat. All right, we'll remove this from here, and that will give us a lot more room to work with here. All right, so I like to give myself a little bit of extra room. I'm gonna remove this radiator fan. Uh, that's gonna clear up a lot more room because we do have to work in this direction. Uh, so I'll start by removing the little reservoir hose. Just pop this out. Just take your time. Then we'll use some pliers to break that seal loose. And just enough to break that seal, there it is. Pull this back. Sweet, so this is loose. Uh, we will have to remove this from here because the bolt is right behind this reservoir. Here, so this looks like maybe a 10. Yep, and it is a 10 mil. So we'll loosen this up. And we'll loosen up this as well. There's two of them. And we'll set these bolts over to the side. Oh, is there one more bolt on this one down at the bottom? And no, it just sits into place. The little nipple there. And this has coolant, so we'll just sit it like that. All right, that exposes so much more. So now we have the 10 millimeter right here and the 10 right here. Hopefully this air intake is not in the way. And I am able to get it out with a quarter inch ratchet. Just take your time. Other one is out. And we'll set these over to the side. Uh, we do have to remove this pigtail connection from here. All right, so there it is. Just press in the release clip from the back and then pull this out. You might need both hands. It is a little locked there. Then this should be able to come off. Just be careful, it is hitting here. So just take your time getting this out of the way. And it looks like that pigtail, it's latched right here. So you will have to undo it from that little clip that it has. All right, with this trim tool, I was able to pop it loose from there. Now, we just still got to work this out. Just take your time. All right, and there it is. I kind of had to fight it from it getting caught on this sensor with that. So retarded, I swear. But that extra 5-10 minutes, so much more worth it. You have so much more room to work with now. Uh, everything is accessible. So now let's remove the tension off this belt. All right, using a 19 millimeter. There's a spot right here where it's gonna go. And then you just compress it downwards and it loses the tension. And I suggest maybe removing it from the alternator. That would probably be the best bet. Or from up here, either or, it don't really matter but you do kind of want to keep this belt in the same design loop. So, alternator it is. All right, belt is off the alternator and now it is off the AC compressor. You kind of just want to keep it like so, so you just remember that design or take a picture of it. It should have a pattern of it underneath the hood. Uh, it does not. Yeah, it does not. I would suggest taking a picture of it so you could just reference it in case the belt does happen to come off completely. Um, so now I think we'll start by removing the alternator. And it doesn't seem like we need to, but I'm going to remove this engine cover just because I like to give myself a lot more room to work with. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not sure if we have to remove that hose to get to that, but let me see. I'm going to try to get to that uh, AC compressor. We're having to do so much. Yeah, there's no other way. All right, so we're going to have to remove this idler pulley out of the way and the alternator. So, all right, so this idler pulley has a little cap using a small flathead. We're able to pry this out. Sweet. And make sure you don't drop that. 
and we'll set this over to the side. Now we have access to the bolt holding our IRA pulley into place. And that will be a 14 millimeter socket. I'm gonna use a deep socket to, to be able to bypass this hose here. Just break it loose and drive it out. Set this over to the side. Now let's get this uh, alternator. And it looks like it has two bolts, one up here, and then another one right down here. These look a little bit bigger than 14, but we see. Nope, they're 14s. So I'm gonna need an extension for this one here. And let's break these loose. And the bottom one as well, while we're at it. Sweet, let's drive these out. Let's remove the bolts. All right, the same size. Oh, oh yeah, these things are usually pretty locked because it has a little lock in the back. And using a flathead screwdriver, I'm just prying it from the back. Ah, there it came out. Let's see if I can get the bottom one out. The top one is out already. Just gotta work this bottom one. All right, this bottom one is a bit hard, but I am finding that with a long screwdriver, you're able to kind of walk it out a little bit. It is tough, I'm not gonna lie. But, it's coming out little by little. You see that gap. Just take your time. Make sure you try not to break anything. All right, so it is quite a bit of a struggle to be able to get this out. But if you look at that little tab down here, that's what's actually getting it locked into place. So what I'm gonna do is with a flat head, like so, and then I'll try to hit it a little bit with a hammer to see if we're able to knock that little lock loose a little bit. And we'll see if that works. All right, and there is also, looks like a wiring harness attached to the alternator as well. Um, looks like there is maybe a nut back here holding that little bracket together. Um, let's see if I can get an angle of it. Um, it's right where this white tag is at, right underneath it, right there. That's where it's at, and it looks like it might be an 8 mil. So, I'm going to see if I could reach into that and remove that bracket from there. Um, let's see. This one here is like a 10. So I might have to remove this one from here first to loosen up that cable to be able to get the 8 mil back here uh, this feels like a 10 so let me try to break that loose all right let's first disconnect the negative terminal try that one more time oh no that's why sometimes I hate making these videos when I should be using two hands like just right now I had to use both hands to uh, pull out the magnet <laughs> There we go. Put that over to the side. Perfect. All right, that's going to be a size 12 for the back. I'm going to try to see if I can reach it. But can I break it off? Dang it. All right, and I was able to use an extension with that 12 quarter inch ratchet broke it loose sweet take off the nut remove that cable break the nut loose on that other one remove that bracket it's a process to get this done I'm not gonna lie all right and yeah that is an eight so I'll just break this loose if I could. Man, this ratchet needs to give me some more ratcheting. All right, I had to use my electric ratchet. That's the only way 
I was gonna be able to get that off. And there it is out. Oh man, that is a tough spot to get to, especially with this little bracket corner poking the crap out of you right here. Let me try using a magnet. Then we'll be able to pull that off. We do not want to drop that. Certainly don't. That will make everything <laughs> not cool. There it is. Got that bracket out of the way. Sweet. Ouch. Now we just have the pigtail connection on the alternator. Um, might be able to get that one at the end. Let's see if we can get this uh, alternator out now. All right, we finally got this alternator loose. Let's see if we can walk it out of here. Looks like we are. Sweet. Just be careful with everything, the belt, so don't get caught up anywhere. And I do have the pigtail connection there right at the end. It's dangling right here with this light. Uh, press this in. Maybe. Yeah, you should be able to press that in and out it should come out. And that is pretty tight, so I'm gonna use some pliers to press that there and then pull it out. And be careful with this belt again. All right, there is the alternator and here is the AC compressor. All right, so this has a pigtail of its own. Release that pigtail from there. We could release the lines from here and there, or you could just release the whole lines from up here and here. Yeah. One. And two, yeah. From up there and from right here. Um, but, I mean, I do have to transfer this over to the new AC compressor, so I'm gonna just replace these here. And I'm gonna leave these alone, so I don't have to replace the O-rings in here and up there. So, I will loosen it up from there. There should be four bolts holding this together. One, two, and I believe maybe the other two are at the bottom. And then uh, from here and there. So let's get to it. All right, so this will be a 12 millimeter socket to loosen up the lines. other one is over here Let's see better angle mm -hmm. a little bit right here and let's remove these bolts from the lines my whole AC system has been decompressed. This AC compressor is not good whatsoever. There is no pressure in the system. Uh, let's remove these bolts from the lines and then we'll start removing the bolts from the top and then we'll lift the car or you could do it from the side, wheel well, uh, and then remove these bottom, the bottom two. And just to show, I connected up the uh, line here and everything is at zero. There's no pressure on the system whatsoever. And if there is, you can simply just connect it and just squeeze the line. Uh, you are not supposed to because you're just supposed to dispense of it properly. But I mean, mm, just do it at your own risk. Don't want to kill the ozone, whatever that means. And I have the bolts off for the lines. And there is one of them. And there is the other one there, disconnected. Both lines are disconnected. We'll remove the bolts from here and there. Then we'll lift up the car and repeat. All right, and here is the first one. And these are also 12 millimeter to remove. I'm gonna break loose this other one as well. 
you guys be careful. <laughs> this is where the knuckle busters happen. <laughs> All right, and I am removing the first one. Oh, that one's tight still. All right, and I have this little star ratcheting system that kind of helps me drive these little small ones out. All right, and there it is. And I am at work, so I do have the vehicle on the lift already. I'm gonna just lift this up. All right, so like I said, you could go about it through the wheel well or through the bottom. Uh, yesterday, the way I started was by removing the uh, splash guards from underneath. They're just a series of 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 of them. And they're everywhere here, those 10 millimeter bolts, if you have the splash guards. But once you have those splash guards removed, boom, there it is. No need to take off the wheel. You can just access everything from here, from the, from the bottom as well. And, you know, with everything removed, everything is just uh, kind of simple to get to here. All right, I'm gonna use my ratchet tool just because I love using it. And so I'm gonna use a six inch extension with a swivel and a 12 millimeter just to be able to reach up in here. Uh, just like so. I mean, you could go by any other method, wrench shorter socket and just the ratchet but <laughs> there's nothing like power tools so we'll break that loose we'll drive that off bam sometimes you still need both hands though <laughs> get this loose <clears throat> that's what i love about it because you can use it as a ratchet then like it look at that so much easier to remove the bolts. Sweet. Break this loose from there. What is you stuck on, bro? One, two, the two top ones are loose. And I guess we'll just work you out. Oh, there it is. work it out I'm gonna need both hands all right and there it is just kind of have to pick it up and slide it out it does have little little guide pins there and uh, we might be able to just pull this out from here but most definitely I'm gonna need both hands because that is pretty heavy and there it is yeah that is how we remove the AC compressor <sighs> on this Genesis Sweet. Let's put it all back together now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video of how to install the replacement.